Hello, my name is Reginald, and welcome to another edition of Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to import data from an Excel 2007 workbook into a new Access 2007 table. This will be accomplished by meeting the following objectives. Use the Microsoft Northwind Traders database. Use view and import the Excel 2007 new inventory transactions.xlsx workbook. Preserve the first row column headings. Do not import the notes column. Select the transaction ID as the primary key and name the new table updated transactions and finally view and verify our results. Well let's get started. Let's open up Microsoft Excel 2007 and familiarize ourselves with the new inventory transactions workbook. And here we are. Now let's take a brief moment to look at our columns. In column A we have transaction ID, column B transaction type, column C transaction created date, column D transaction modified date, column E product ID, column F quantity, and column G notes. Now let's come over to the button icon and let's select it and let's click close. Now let's come down and let's open up Microsoft Office Access 2007 and begin our importing process. Well here we are, the Northwind Traders database. Let's navigate our way to the navigation pane and let's come on up to external data and let's click on it and let's come down to where it says import and let's go up and select Excel. Let's scroll over and let's click on browse so we can locate our workbook. And this is it right here, new inventory transactions. So let's highlight it and let's come down below and click on open. Now let's come up above and let's select here where it says import the source data into a new table in the current database. And let's come on down below and click on OK. Now let's scroll up above and let's select first row contains column headings and let's come below and let's click on next. And we were asked not to import the notes column so let's come above right here and let's scroll over until we locate the notes column. And here it is. Let's go up above and highlight it. Now let's come over to right here where it says do not import field skip and let's check in this box. Now let's come down below and let's click on next. And we were asked to choose our own primary key so let's do that. Let's click on the down arrow and we were asked to select transaction ID as our primary key so let's do that. Now let's come down below and let's click on next and we were asked to name our new table updated transactions so let's do that. And let's click on finish and we do not want to save any import steps at this time so let's click on close. Now let's scroll over to the navigation pane and let's go to the all access objects tab and let's come below and let's click on tables. Now let's scroll below until we locate our new table and here it is right here updated actions. Let's double click on it and open it up and view and verify our results. Okay, let's double click on some of the columns so that we can view the titles appropriately. And there we are. So we have 
transaction ID, transaction type, transaction created date, transaction modified date, product ID, quantity, and there's no notes column which we weren't asked to import. Well, our data looks fantastic. Praise the Lord. This has been another Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial with Reginald. Thank you.